This week, 10 Investigates has shared months worth of research that uncovered problems inside the foster care and behavioral health system in our state. Our chief investigative reporter, Bennett Haberly, found children caught in the cycle wound up dead, hurt, or hurting others. Tonight, the final story, where Bennett goes directly to Franklin County Children's Services with tough questions about what's happening to our most vulnerable citizens. Uh, bro, like, what the f bro? I just got set up in all of it. These images can be hard to watch. Kill me, shoot me, shoot me, shoot me. Shoot no, shoot me. The facts alongside them equally troubling. Children caught in the cycle of foster care in Ohio face worse outcomes compared to the rest of the country. New research from the advocacy group Child Defense Fund Ohio shows foster kids in our state are more likely than kids elsewhere to be placed in group homes or institutions, including facilities like the ones we've uncovered. What is your arm? So resisting. The ones where kids have hurt each other or alleged that staff hurt them. The ones that have billed the state for millions of dollars in public Medicaid reimbursement. Hey, what's going on? Hey, hey. And the foster homes where we found numerous police runs. The data also shows kids in Ohio are more likely to be mistreated while in foster care and less likely to be reunited with their families. The system failed my daughter. The system failed other children. Since 2015, 20 children have died while in the care and custody of Franklin County Children's Services. Across the state in that same time period, that figure balloons to 128 children who died while in the custody of a county agency. You waiting for it to get hired to do something? 20 deaths, that's 20 people who's lost a child. In a 30 minute long interview, Franklin County Children's Services told 10 Investigates it faces unique challenges with more children with mental health needs entering their system, more referrals and turnover among staff. It begs the question. Is the county keeping up with the demand? Um, I'm not sure that I've seen a system nationally that is keeping up with the demand. So is that is that a no? Families need more help in our community than is available. But, but again, my question is about Franklin County Children's Services. Are you guys keeping up with the demand? Yeah, could we a second? Yeah. Can we take a second? For, for, for what could, purpose? Well, could you repeat the question? Is Franklin County Children's Services keeping up with the current demand? I think it's fair to say we don't have access to resources that many families need. Laura LaRoche is the intake director with Franklin County Children's Services. We really have to come together as a community and understand that our teens are suffering. So many teens across our system, across our county, are desperately struggling with mental health challenges and don't have access to the services that they need. 10 Investigates also spoke with Scott Britton, who works for a nonprofit that represents the public children's service agencies across the state. We believe that our children's services agencies do a very good job, and I think uh, a lot of the numbers speak for themselves. We work with more than 100,000 investigations of abuse and neglect every year. Uh, there are more than 26,000 children who move through the foster care system at any time during the year. And on any given day, we have more than 15,000 children in foster care but, but in But shouldn't Ohio. that number be zero? I mean, shouldn't there be zero dead kids in the past, since 2015? I don't know of any state or local child welfare system that hasn't had fatalities, unfortunately. He says part of the solution is that Ohio needs more foster parents, more frontline workers, needs more alternative programs like early intervention in juvenile court and better access to mental health care that would prevent or delay referrals to county-run children's services agencies. It sounds like you're acknowledging that the current landscape isn't working. That's what we acknowledged when we released our children's continuum of care reform plan in 2018, that Ohio uh, has uh, some room to grow in this area. We are, uh, so it's a yes. we are behind some other states in terms of where we need to be. 
And plans have been in the works to create a state ombudsman so that children can report if they're being mistreated or abused while in foster or residential care. Another note, starting July 1st, Ohio Rise will begin. It's a special Medicaid managed care program, basically a funding source so that families can access things like a mobile crisis unit and other mental health interventions. The aim to keep children in their homes rather than becoming part of the cycle. Yolanda. All right, thanks, Bennett. That would be the goal. Well, again, this is part of a series of 10 Investigates reports showing how children are caught in the cycle of services and group homes in Central Ohio. Bennett spent months gathering the data, pressing for answers, and getting an interview to ask those tough questions. You can see all of his reports right now on 10tv.com slash 10investigates. 